Hello, my name is Darshan. My name is Anaya. And I'm Stephanie. And we are the creators of babyauthors.com. So, raising a child has to be by far the most difficult thing any one person or two people will ever get a chance to do. Throughout our lifetime, we've noticed how people have taught us certain things. And then when we become adults, we don't like the way we were treated. We don't agree with the way we were raised. And then we change. And from that, we have a tendency to start thinking about, well, when I get a family, I'm going to raise my child this way. And that's fine. You raise your children the way you see fit. And as I'm growing as a parent, I'm not 100% for sure if I'm doing it the right way. Now, what I mean by that is I'm not for sure if I'm too hard on her, too soft on her. I, I don't know. And if, you know, it's just a very difficult thing. Uh, there's a lot of things that Stephanie and I do differently. And I, a lot of it attributes to me being a male and Stephanie being a female and we're raising a female, you know, so th that's a lot to it. And in that, I believe that men, we can be too rough on our daughters. And I'm not trying to be. I'm actually trying to be fair. I'm trying to be uh, more gentle. But as I can see, I think I'm a little too rough. I'm a little too headstrong. My mind is always on business when it's not supposed to be. And as she's getting older, I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose her thinking that my daddy's not giving me any attention. And the same thing with my wife. I'm not trying to lose my family because I'm trying to, I guess, survive. Uh, I would like to think that I am living. We do have a nice lifestyle, but some days, if not all days, seem like survival of the fittest. Because there's just so much going on in the world. It's like, okay, there's no no comfort sometimes. And in that, my attempt is to raise... Not just a perfect child, because I believe I believe we're all perfect. Just a child that's not going to make so many mistakes as she gets older. But then again, you want people to make mistakes because that's how you learn. That's how you ultimately learn is by making mistakes. I guess I don't want her to fall down the wrong path. Which is why I wanted to do this podcast. This podcast was the thought process came from. Me thinking about um, her attitude. See, she doesn't realize how many people know her. She really doesn't understand her or our way. How can I say this? She does not understand how we live. She doesn't understand who we are just yet. She hasn't seen it. She's starting to grasp it a little bit because she saw me in a commercial. But as far as who she is, she doesn't understand who she is yet. Because for the past six years of her life, and it's currently 11, 16, 2021, so she was born 8, 8, 2015, and it's currently 11, 16, 2021. So she's six years old. So for the past six years, mom and dad has been building up her name uh, over the entire world. And she doesn't understand how many people know her. She doesn't understand how many people have supported the idea of Anaya's adventures and bought the books and bought the merchandise. Now I've been teaching her on the podcast, how to sell stuff, but she has not physically seen the finances. And if anybody were to see it, they would then understand why I'm treading that water so lightly as to, um, expound on what it is to have money to a child. Because as you can see from child actors, they don't turn out to be responsible adults later. They turn out to be pretty rough around the edges and maybe uh, get addicted to some substance. So for me, I was talking to her today and I just noticed that 
her attitude is changing and it's becoming kind of bratty. And when she was about two years old, I had noticed that attitude, which is why I started making her do things around the house to get the things that she wanted. She she honestly knows now that no matter what she asks me, if it's something that she wants, that she has to work for. But if it's something that I want to give her, that's just coming from me as a gift. And it's probably the best thing I've ever done because as you can see from these podcasts, anytime she's on the podcast, that's something that she's trying to get. If you ever hear Stephanie and I on here, Anaya doesn't want to have anything to do with it until she wants something. So that clearly lets me know that she knows that, well, I need to work in order to get something. But if I don't work for it, then I'm not going to get anything. Now, we haven't bought her anything. No toys, no sweets, no nothing. She's been uh, in her own world doing a lot of painting and a lot of drawing, just reflecting to herself. Um, I guess at this stage, she's six years old. She's growing up in her own little way. And part of the reason... I had created babyauthors.com in the first place was so that I could simply enjoy every moment with my child. And for the past six years, we've done just that. We plan on still doing this with you guys, but at some point, they say all good things come to an end. Now, we're not looking to end it nowhere near, you know, within the next three years or so, so be careful. You're, you're going to be okay. We, you got three years at least, but everything's going according to plan. And we're on schedule to still keep on coming out with merchandise and still promoting the brand. But when it comes to raising Anaya, I'm a little confused because as a child, you don't want to give them too much information. It becomes an overload. And I got overloaded with information when I was about her age. And I also started to understand right from wrong when I was about her age. I really, really understood at nine years old the difference between right and wrong. And making a mistake, what's the opposite of that? Is to be right. So a lot of times in our household, all of us, including myself, we're not able, we're not allowed to make excuses, especially if you have been taught what's right, including myself. So as I'm raising her and Stephanie and I are enjoying each other, I want to say that it's difficult being a parent because I'm not 100% for sure which way is up, so to speak. What's the right way to raise your child? And What time do you start telling them about certain things that's disturbing that you would feel uncomfortable having that conversation with? Because if you give a child too much too soon, again, they turn bratty. They get misled. They end up developing a bad attitude. So that was the reason why we started this podcast. We wanted to let you guys know how we were parenting. And we just so happened to own some businesses as a family, we're a three person team and we've been doing well for the past six years. Stephanie has opened up my eyes. She's made my heart a lot more gentle and my perspective on parenting is a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. At any rate, I do want to thank you guys for your time. I really appreciate it. We always try to do as many podcasts as we can to keep the audience, you know, still intrigued. We do appreciate you guys. We love the support and we're forever thankful that you guys have been rocking it out with us for the past six years. Although the podcast started off as something else in the beginning, uh, it's still been rocking for six years and we appreciate you. So we'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Hello, my name is Darshan. My name is Anaya. And I'm Stephanie. And we are the creators of babyauthors.com.